What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World. And what we're going to be talking about right now is the 50 win house rules. Now, a lot of you guys uh, that watched the video when this was released last week, Friday, you guys, a lot of you guys tweeted me already, like, yo, Gmaya, I already got it. I got the 50 wins. I got the extra trophies. What is the best move to do? Now, I've been thinking about it a lot. Uh, pretty much for those of you guys that have the 49er theme team or any other team um, that corresponds to the you know the uh, series six master who is actually delaney walker you guys can kind of get him to be a monster tight end in the game right now and a goal 99 all right so with the way that that works right now everybody is trying to get the goal 99 nobody cares about you know the stats i saw someone buy one of the delaney walkers on xbox for like three million coins that person god bless him he's an idiot but it is what it is that's what he wanted to do and he felt that it was necessary to do that but in all honesty, his card stats don't really match up to 3 million, 3 million coins at any time. So look, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on. We have a thousand trophies right now, so we have a few things that we can do. And we're going to go over all those things right now so that both the veterans and my new viewers can understand exactly what the best case scenario is. All right, so look. Coach Madden, the final three collectibles that are necessary to fully max out uh, Coach Madden is now available. You also, for 1,050, can get a NAT version of the Competitive Master, okay? So, with the way that this works, we've already been invested fully into John Madden Coach. So, it would probably be logical to just kind of finish it up before going after Delaney Walker. But, again, we're going to go over all of that now and see what makes the best uh, possible choice for all of us because we can actually get that additional... Um, you know acceleration strength and all that stuff by just using this collectible for me right here We're gonna be able to grind it out anyway. We got house rules. We got more house rules coming up We got weekend league. We got different ways to just keep grinding these also You can go ahead and just do a lot of head-to-head -head, um, And get a lot of trophies that way as well, but let's take a look at Delaney Walker's You know his stats his attributes and see what he's gonna actually do for my offense He probably still would not start because I believe what is he like 6'2"? I think he's 6'2", right? And um, obviously Kittle is 6'4". So he's he's a smaller dude. Um, pretty much his run block is going to get enhanced a little bit. But let's go ahead and actually look at everything that's going to happen if we were to invest a 1,000 Series 6 trophies into Delaney Walker. So this is what we would get. 89 speed plus 4, so that's 93. And then everything else, it don't really matter. That 90 run block looking kind of sexy. You know what I'm saying? His awareness 99. It doesn't really matter. Most of these guys have the awareness of a dead cockroach. So it, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not like he's gonna block the guy that he's supposed to. All of us know that. But it looks pretty to have a uh, that 199. After that, there's not really a lot of things with the card that makes it. So I'm like, yo, guys, we gotta go do this. Like we can take our time with this. I, I don't really think that it's a necessary move, um, especially with golden tickets right around the corner. I think that we should probably build up our squads as best as possible until golden tickets come out and then figure out what we're doing with that because if we use the thousand trophies that we've grinded for with house rules to go ahead and and get him what what impact is he immediately going to make he's not going to like you know what i'm saying he has 199 in all of his stats what th there's really no impact and to me kittle is just better overall regardless you know he's bigger you know he he looks like he run blocks a lot better it's just he, he's just a better card so even with the way Delaney Walker is right now, and I know a lot of you guys, you know, you want that gold 99 uh, once you get 1,050. Like we need what, 48 more? Oh no, I mean 38 more, 30, 39 more, um, 39 more trophies to go ahead and do that. So I can play a few house rules and actually get that done, and you know, have them by later today. But that's not something that I'm really interested in at this point. I think for all of us, we should focus. For those of us that have already invested a lot of time. Uh, into John Madden coach. I think we should probably finish up grinding all of his card max him out completely and then go from there So what would happen right now is this right? Pretty much what would happen is with the phys the Madden physical for those of us right now that are on the eighth slot We would get strength agility and acceleration added to our entire team I think that that's more of an impact than going after a tight end right now just to say we have a goal 99 when in another week or so when they start releasing golden tickets most of us are going to have 99s at a lot of positions anyway so it doesn't really matter so what we're going to do is we're going to use that that 1000 trophies right now on that coach matter collectible and then we're going to see the effect that he has on the entirety of the team um to you know to pretty much kind of assess the impact because in all honesty it doesn't really matter about a lot of the other things that go on in the game but he, he 
with his attributes and the things that he's done to the squad, we see impact, okay? Delaney Walker is not gonna be impact. And for now, even, even when we actually put him together, like once we have the set done, he still won't be anything that anybody cares about. Because again, we have a Koye. I'm, you know what? Let me show you guys what's going on. It's just so that I can further explain exactly why I made this decision. And, I, and like I said, I didn't make this decision lightly because I know a lot of you guys wanted to get that gold tight end to kind of, you know, see what's out there and see if it really works in the, in the run game. Let me show you something real quick. Christian Okoye, right? He's a gold 99. We're using our power pass on him, uh, our 98, right? So he's 97 speed, 94, all, all that other good stuff, right? He has a 99 impact block, a 98 lead block, and a 92 run block. And this dude couldn't block a dead cockroach. So if he has all of those numbers and he still doesn't block the people right in front of him, we don't really have anything that we're going to get, you know, out of Delaney. Like, it's just going to be a goal, another goal 99 that doesn't really matter. Now, when he's set to block somebody and he blocks, it's unbelievable. But when he's ready to just miss a block with one guy in front of him, that's just part of the game. Like, he'll just, it'll be one guy left to block and he'll run away from that guy and go block somebody in the stands or hit the guy that's serving the hot dogs. That's what Christian Okoye will do with these numbers. So similarly, if you look at what this guy is doing right now, if we were to upgrade him, it really wouldn't give us the impact that we're looking for. So that's just my assessment of it. And I actually streamed and showed you guys what I'm talking about. So if you guys want to go back to Twitch and check out the past broadcast, when I last streamed Madden, you'll be able to see what Okoye was doing. Like he, sometimes he blocks, sometimes he doesn't. So you have to be, you know, understanding of that situation and just know that we should be using our trophies the proper way for now. Adding that strength, you don't know what kind of impact that's gonna do. See, that's the thing about Madden Coach. We, we're still guessing on what it actually does. We have no idea. Like me, if you were to ask me like, yo, does this dude actually do this? I'd be like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because like, we really just don't know. But we can see the difference in the speed. We can see the difference in acceleration. So those type of things, we immediately see what's going on. So it actually works out. You see what I'm saying? It, it makes it easier for us to kind of know what really matters. So now when we go and do the, uh, the second component, right? And we add it to the squad. Now with the, this being maxed out with the strength, agility, and acceleration, we should be able to see what type of boost actually comes from it. As opposed to look, relying on one card, like the lady Walker, go out there and catch the ball and then he'll drop it. Like, okay, cool. But now the whole team gets those three attributes. So that makes it so that it's a little bit more, it's more enticing to actually do it. You know, like, okay, so something affects the entire squad. Let's go ahead and do that. That's the way that I view it. So now, look at what happens to Bosa. Bosa becomes a 99 overall, all right? Before, I, he was a 98. This guy stayed as a 98. I don't know why, but that's what he chose to do as a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's like, yo, you know what? I know you just did all of that, and you want me to be a 99. I'm going to still stay right here and be a 98. All right, cool. But Bosa at least stepped up. So what happens is... We could go around now and look at what else happened to the rest of the team, okay? This guy, I think he was already a 98, so I'm not sure if anything really happened with him. But look at Calvin Johnson. He becomes a 99. You see what I'm saying? So that's the type of impact immediately that he has as opposed to, we, you know, we're going after one card and then that card is trash. And then we, you know what I'm saying, Delaney Walker running around with a 99 gold and we just have him out there to just, we're just showing him like it's nothing that's really, really enticing about it. Now, look, just to make sure, we're gonna back out and then come back in because like you guys know, when you add new things into the squad, like when you start adding stuff, what happens is EA Sports doesn't register it right away on the actual screen, so you have to back out and then come back in and then we'll take a look at it. Now, let's go back, like I just said, and we're gonna take a look at this and see exactly what's going on. All right, so now this guy's a 99, right? So we're gonna make him the starter. We could easily put Tory Holt on the other side as a starter also, but that would be kind of, it'll be a waste of time and, and you know, in all honesty to do that um, simply because it's just, it would be weird because he would never play. Like Tory Holt does not play. You know what I'm saying? Like the dude's just there to look pretty with the 99. Like he's not, that dude right there is not playing. He he serves no purpose in, in our streak offense. Now, if we wanted to run outs and we wanted to give him abilities and make him run, you know, post flags, things like that, he is the best wide receiver at route running. I'll tell you, listen, that dude is always wide open. It's been that way since the beginning of Madden, and that's one thing that consistently hasn't changed. He will torch you on an out route, post flag, like this, bro, post, out, in, all kinds of ways, bro. That's what he does. But 
again, when you look at this card, I just want to focus on a couple things. This is, he's not a deep threat. Uh, you know, he's a route technician. If you look at his archetype in the top left, that's what he is. So don't try to make him something that he's not. Even I think I, I think he unlocks uh, streak specialist yeah later, but he wasn't. That's not what he was. You know what I'm saying? So you you don't need to really worry about that too much. He's just the kind of guy that you have there just in case. You know what I'm saying? Is is it's like just in case, bro. Like if somebody gets tired and you want to put somebody else in, he's the perfect guy to go out there and actually do that. That's what he is, and that's the way he should remain. So. Um, Everybody else was he a 99 before Kyle Juice? I don't know. We got two 99 fullbacks now. Um, all right, 97. That guy's still a 92. Everybody should these guys, these four guys, we all know was a 99. All right, this guy I believe was a 97. Now he goes to a 98. Um, Aaron Rodgers, he still stayed as a 98. Okay, 97. And these two guys stayed at 97. Uh, this guy has go deep on him though, so it doesn't really matter. Tyreek Hill stayed at a 96. Now, let's start looking at the individual impacts. What made Calvin go from a 98 to a 99? Let's take a look at it, right? Okay, so now he has 99 speed. I, he's already had all that stuff. Okay, 98 deep route running, 99 spec catch. Okay, 96 catch in traffic. That, that's the, that wasn't effective. We're looking for acceleration, agility, and everything like that. That's what pretty much did it. So his agility went up. Okay, his acceleration is now at 98. I don't know if that's going to be that big of a difference, but we'll figure it out in gameplay. All right, so agility, speed, um, and strength. No, no, agility, strength, and acceleration, I believe it was. So that's pretty much what is going on with him. Now, as far as the impact on everybody else, let's go take a look at Randy Moss and then we'll look at everybody else. But most of the other players, it doesn't really matter because we're just looking for certain skill positions. I do believe that use check, I think use check was a 98 though on my team. And he just got chemmed up to a um, to a 99, so that's also good. What will it mean on the field? Nobody has any idea. All right, this guy has 99 deep route running, 91 short, 99. Okay, he 99 spec. Yeah, he always had that though. 95 catch. All right, let's take a look at his strength. 56. Dude, bro, come on, bro. What is this dude's bench? Dude's bench at 135 twice. Like, okay, cool. Uh, acceleration is still 98, which is kind of weird. I, I don't understand why this guy's acceleration is so low. He should definitely be a 99 Excel, especially with that boost. Um, and wait a minute, I thought that agility was... Hold up, let's go back, because why isn't his agility boosted? I thought that that's what John Madden coach did. That uh, let, Let's go take a look at what's going on. Actually, we can look at it from right here, because I don't understand why he doesn't have the boost, unless I was seeing something wrong. Let's go check out, uh, check out John Madden coach physical. Uh, yeah, he gets agility. So why wasn't Randy Moss's agility increased? Or boosted it's acceleration agility and strength all right see this is what EA likes to do man they like to do whatever they want and you know low-key it turns me on but like not right now though like what are you doing why isn't it boosted his agility is just staying at 93 with no boost that could be a reason why um, that's actually going on all right let's let's back out again let's go back to the um let's go back into um, we're gonna go to the item binder and then we're gonna look at it from there and then see if it actually boosts from there. Because like I said, sometimes with the lineup, it does that. And it's like, it's really weird the way they do it. And then sometimes you guys, uh, you know, leave a comment like, yo, my guy's not getting boosted. And I, and I try to tell you guys in all the videos, like, look, sometimes EA just doesn't care about anything and they just do whatever they want. Look, the agility is not going up. So, so that that's an issue right there. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to, fi maybe we have to figure that out. We're gonna have to submit that uh, to actually Get that to EA Sports. Is it just him that's doing that? Hold up, where's Calvin? Does Calvin get it? No, Calvin gets it. So his agility is boosted, but not Randy's. That's kind of weird right now. Um, I, I don't know exactly why that is. Is it, uh, I don't know if we could figure that out. It, so it's, it's, it's only unique right now to Randy Moss that his agility is not being affected by John Madden coach, which is probably why he's staying at where he is right now. Um, that would probably make the most sense. I don't see any other. Um, I don't see any other way that that only he would be affected individually by that and not be able to get the actual chem. Uh, yeah, I don't know. His agility just staying right there at 93, no boost. Um, all right, let me see what. Okay, let's go to Bo Jackson. Let's check him out. What are you doing? Yeah, his agility goes up. Uh, yeah, I don't. Pre hold up. What does this guy do? Tyreek Hill. Let's check him. It might be a bug with Randy Moss. His acceleration 99, speed is 99, agility. All right, 
that that's what it looks like to me it looks like there might be something going on let's go to our kicker yeah the kicker got agility too and the dude's garbage so I, yeah I, we have to figure that out maybe if i take him out and then put him back in um he might get his agility because that that could be the only reason why he's not getting the proper boost uh but we'll check it out and see uh you know put submit it to ea sports see what's going on with that uh tyreek hill gets it everybody else gets it i believe let's check tory holt and then we're going to also go check jalen ramsey uh because jalen ramsey might be somebody that's interesting as well yeah his agility goes up everybody else except for randy moss I don't know if it's probably, I might have to take his card out, put his card back in, do something weird like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, to see if it'll activate. Um, but as far as everything else goes, it looks like he got, he has everything except for his agility. So let's go check defensively now and make sure everybody has uh, what they're supposed to have as far as defense goes. Because their strength should be increased. This guy, Paige is doing whatever he wants anyway. Bosa went up. The, the Julius Peppers, because he stayed at a 98 and he was already a 98. Unless we give him the strength boost, I think we could probably do that. If we take Sprinter off of him, right? Agility, yeah, his agility went up too. Maybe the strength boost would make him a 99. All right, it's worth a try. And this is how you have to experiment. So when you guys are asking, yo, how did you get that guy to a 99? Like, I try to experiment and figure it out. And then through doing it this way, we all determine what the actual factor is. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get Brawler times 2 and equip that on him. And then let's see if that changes him. No, he's still a 98. All right, so we could go back and give him Sprinter. All right, this dude just doesn't want to become a 99. Like, we can, bro, we can't do nothing for him. If he doesn't want to be the man, we can't do nothing about that. All right, let's go. Let's take that back off him. Because he's he's not ready to be a 99, bro. Like, he, he's just the kind of guy that just wants to sit back and be a 98 and be trash. Meanwhile, Nick Bosa's... What, what, okay, there it goes. It went away. All right, so let's give him back Sprinter. We'll just go ahead and equip that back. No harm, no foul. Uh, he stays at a 98. Uh, the reason that I do that, because some people, depending on the strength factor of what they're missing, it will it, it kind of changes it up a little bit, and you're able to get a little bit more. Um, Deion Sanders already had 99 speed, 99 excel. I'm not sure what this guy... Okay, is it, okay, now his acceleration is a 98. 99 zone coverage, 99 press, 99 man coverage in green. So he has... And his agility is also boosted. So... It just, like I said, it looks like it's unique to Randy Moss. We'll figure out what's going on with that later, but just take a look at Ramsey because Ramsey is 6'1 with those numbers. So that's ridiculous acceleration. Just so that everybody understands uh, at that size with that speed because he's going to be always around where the play is. Uh, Deion Sanders, like I said before, he's already 99 everything. So it don't really matter. Like the boost didn't do anything to him. He's going to be 99 uh, regardless. But uh, we could check Night Train also. These are some of the key players that are going to make plays for your squad. So if you have these same exact players, you probably should take a look at that. All right, let's go take a look at Night Train real quick. What is he doing? All right, 99 speed, 99 acceleration. So yeah, th th these guys at this point right now, 99 speed and 99 excel is outrageous. And then Taylor Mays and a lot of these other guys. So he has, what is his agility doing? Where's he at? He's 96. And look, he doesn't get his boost either. I don't know what's going on. Some players get the boost with agility. Some players don't. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'll definitely. Um. I will definitely submit. Um. The information to EA. As a matter of fact, I'll. You know. I'll take a couple clips and I'll get that submitted, and then we'll get that fixed and ready to go. So that way the team can look at it and figure out what's going on with that. So if you guys are also experiencing that, uh, just you know, definitely drop a line right there in the comment section. And let me know. But I. I will submit that and figure out what's going on because those boosts would definitely increase um, you know, the, the regular play of your players because it would make them you know, they're more agile, these dudes are stronger, the acceleration, you should see an impact. And it could be that you know, the game probably just has to be reset, you know, something like that. Typically, those type of things happen. Let me see, what is Taylor Mays doing? Let's figure out what he's doing. Is he 99 speed, 99 acceleration? What's his agility? Did he get his boost? I don't know if he got his boost. Nope, he got no boost. Some players just don't get the boost, and some players do. All right, so that that's pretty much what I would suggest you guys do at this moment. I would go ahead when you get your first uh, 1,000 trophies, after you know, grinding house rules, whatever you had to do to get it. That's the way I would go to get the immediate impact. Um, and as you can see, Calvin Johnson being a 99 overall, it actually, you know, it actually changes. At least I know somebody gets it. So until they fix it with everybody else, it's fine.
we got we got at least we got somebody that's a 99 overall that got boosted that's relevant to the team which makes it all worth it and you guys know what i'm talking about because when you when they become 99 overalls something about them changes so we'll see what happens now with calvin as we go forward but again we wait on delaney We'll figure it out as we go through. When they release the new house rules, we'll get back to that as well. So just stay tuned to the channel. Uh, definitely go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And then we're going to work out a couple things because I have to actually, I have to raid sell someone, but I'm not going to tell you who, but the dude's garbage. But every you, you guys already know, like pretty much most of the dudes on my team right now is garbage. But this dude right here, he's kind of trash and it's been a long time coming. We got to get rid of this guy. I'm pretty sure most of you guys are going to guess who it is. You guys can go ahead and leave it in the comments. But the next video, uh, absolutely. Uh, well, my, probably not the next one, but you'll get it later today. Uh, that dude has to go, man. The dude's been kind of garbage for way too long. So I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You definitely stay safe. Wash your hands. Protect yourself and your family. Until next time. One love, y'all.